great. We are joined now by NASA astronaut uh, Scott Tingle, who spent 168 days in space. Scott's a pretty amazing guitar player, and you got a chance to play in space. What was that like? I did. Playing in space was uh, an incredible experience. We had two acoustic guitars. I played with my buddy, Drew Foistel. Uh, we played it actually through a tablet. And I'm pretty sure we were the first two astronauts to play an electric guitar on orbit. <laughs> well, we, you, we heard some sound waves. Let's talk a little bit about sound waves. Sure. Now, everybody knows that my favorite thing to do with an astronaut is to pull out the vacuum pump. So I've got my Bluetooth speaker in here. It's connected to my phone. We're going to play Marty's favorite song. The Stem and 30 theme. And while it's playing, I'm going to put the bell jar over the top. And I'm going to ask you to do the honors to turn on the vacuum pump, and we'll see what happens. Let's All listen right. to this first. Okay. Okay, Scott. You can still hear it. Still hear it. Still going. There goes the pump. Wow. Okay, why don't you turn off the pump? Ooh. I don't hear much. <laughs> no, let's put some air back in here and see what happens. We're still playing the music. Yeah. That's incredible. Now, Scott, when you were in space, what's going on there? You can't, can you hear things? Well, so everybody asks that question. And when we're in space, it kind of depends. What do you mean in space? If it was just me in space, I wouldn't be breathing, first of all. But second of all, there's no medium, there's no air. And so the acoustic wave that the speaker makes while it's vibrating has no way to transmit its, it, to continue its uh, translation to your eardrum that also picks up the, the vibration. But when we're in space and inside the ISS, we have air pressure just like we do in this hangar, and so it works normally. So when you're doing a spacewalk, and you did do a spacewalk, how do you communicate with mission control if you don't have a medium. Okay, so we have in our spacesuits air pressure. And so we talk and the air pressure creates an acoustic wave. And we have a sensor, a microphone, inside the space uh, helmet, the spacesuit helmet, and it changes that acoustic wave into a radio wave. And it transmits it uh, to the satellites and sends it on home. Now the big question is, what about science fiction movies? We saw the Death Star explode and we heard it. Is that real? We have a whole office investigating this because we think there's a secret capability that we don't know about. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us about sound waves. Can we jam a little bit? You bet. All right. Oh, brother. <laughs> Can we just listen to Scott for a while? <laughs> 